putting each other down in the street. Where's all the uncles at? Why these young boys is gunning each other down in the street? Where's all the gangsters at? Where's the OGs at? All you dudes that cut on your chest shadows. Where's all the fathers at? Why these young boys gunning each other down in the street? Where's all the uncles at? Why these young boys is gunning each other down in the street? Where's all the gangsters at? Where's the OGs at? All you dudes that cut on your chest shadows. Where's the purpose of talking about how much of an OG, how much of a gangster you are when you cannot stop these babies from killing babies? That boy is Benny, huh? Fuck all your chitter chatter. Black lives don't matter. Kill each other for the master. This a pair like Africa. But they eat, get fatter. Batter. The recipe of a disaster. Batter. When bullets fly, niggas scatter. Batter. Black lives don't matter. Batter. Fuck all your chitter chatter. Batter. Black lives don't matter. Batter. Kill each other for the master. Batter. Disappear like Arakadab. But they eat, get fatter. Batter. The recipe of a disaster. Batter. When bullets fly, niggas scatter. Batter. Black lives don't matter. Who blicky or choke? Cho. Shit don't matter to parole. Cho. I was gang gang, never gang bang. I was all about the dough. Cho. Your big homie, he was slow. Cho. I was always on the go. Cho. They was jealous of the flow. Cho. Your sis messy, Cho. fucking all of the bros. Ho. Shame to the set. They only fade through sex. The fucking with the big jets. Bitches can't fade to give a neck, then move to the next set. That's why we can't get respect. That's why we live and die in debt. Big homies keep last shit slide. Niggas need chin checks. They say women lie, men lie, but I ain't got no regrets. I ain't never been pressed. Nigga, press me, nigga, get death. You even fucking with my philosophy, or you bang with the rest. All that in between, playing both sides, shit, get niggas left. Fuck politics, niggas slithering, act funny after the rest. I'm just feeling like I'm castrated when I'm chasing people. Mass shooters on a black man in a manga hat, so always in the paper. Black hatred, I don't trust you niggas, cause my own kind trying to zone a nigga. Black lives don't matter to me, cause my same brother trying to earth a nigga. Why nigga? Same struggle that you have, I'm trying to survive nigga. Please go and use your mind nigga. If you don't, then you die nigga. Why you moving like you suicidal or being controlled by a fucking white? I will move on a fucking writing, but I'd rather die than stand beside you. Enslaved, niggas killing just to get paid with the court state. Enslaved, Gucci ain't Louis for time, but never got rent paid. What the truth would the world say? We contribute to the jail trade. We was never given mercy. Black lives never mattered to me. They don't want to see survival from us. 12 want to put hollows to us. Who am I? Black lives. If I die, then there's no crime. Who are y'all? Black lives. Stay niggas, kill their own kind. Fuck all the chitter chatter. Black lives don't matter. Kill each other for the master. Disappear like Africa dad, but they eat, get fatter. The recipe of a disaster. When bullets fly, niggas scatter. Black lives don't matter. Fuck all your chitter chatter. Black lives don't matter. Kill each other for the master. Disappear like Africa Shout out to that boy Five God, you know what I'm saying? Low case G, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to that boy Sean Campbell, Slime like him. Yeah, what it do, what it do, what it do. It's your boy Ill Flow Spitter, yeah. AKA Clean the Villain. Coming out that H Town, Houston, Texas, Southwest, man. It's that closet TV while I bring you the news from the closet. This is the platform will be exposed to skeletons in niggas' closets, man. Yeah, I'm in my thing right now, just relaxing, man. I ain't been in this thing in a minute. You know, ever since that freeze over, I ain't really been in my room like that. I've been sleeping in my guest room upstairs. You know what I'm saying? My carpet is messed up right here. You know what I'm saying? My carpet is is just just bad because that freeze over, it got flooded, all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they supposed to be coming tomorrow to you know do the to do the finishing touches of my carpet. You know what I'm talking about? Squat business to do the finishing touches of my carpet. Then let me step. Then let, 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 let me slide myself right into this to this, to this topic. So, you know what I'm saying? I want to chop it up about Hassan Campbell and Hocus Faux Fifth. They done patched up and then linked up on Instagram live. I watched it earlier. I ain't gonna lie to him. And I was all happy looking at those two brothers communicating all, all perfectly with just great communication, great dialogue. You know what I'm saying? A whole bunch of just back and forth of respect it just was a whole bunch of back and forth of respect towards each other understanding each other's perspective understanding each other's perspective now let me step myself back into this so um um hocus faux fifth 
He's an individual from New York. You know what I'm talking about? You know, I know he raps or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Had situations going on. Had cases or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know, the uh, sex, money, murder, and all that stuff. I, hey, I'm from Houston, Texas. Ain't none of my business. This is New York business. So I don't want to try to sit up there and be talking about whatever he been through or none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep it respectful. This is about Hocus Faux Fifth and Hassan Gamble. You know what I'm saying? And Hassan Campbell. So, um, yeah, um... I loved every bit of that conversation that they had, man. Those two young brothers had, man. I loved every bit of it. It just shows the experience of everything that boys done went through, niggas done went through. You know what I'm saying? It shows the experience that niggas went through back, you know, when they went through whatever they went through from going to jail, from being in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Boys done caught bodies, all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then they able to sit down and chop it up. Now, they wasn't in front of each other, but they was on, they, they was on Instagram Live. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? They might be as close as it's going to get. It might be as close as it's going to get. Or maybe they might patch up in the flesh in person. Who knows? That would be beautiful. You know what I'm saying? As far as there ain't no, no BS involved, nobody trying to backdoor each other, line each other up, none of that stuff now. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? After all, Sinetta did set up Hassan with Tafik. What's the nigga name? Tafik? Anyways, man. So, um, shout out to Hocus Four Fifth, man. Wise brother, you know what I'm saying? Bright brother, you know what I'm talking about? And shout out to Hassan Campbell for the great conversation, great dialogue that they had. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that's a, that's, that's, that's a, you know, any of our youth, any of our youth that peeped that out or seen that, they should be able to learn from that. They should be able to look at that like, you know what, man? If it's somebody who I never forgave or, you know, might have offended me in the streets in some kind of way, whether it be minor or major, especially minor, especially minor. Let me try to find it in my heart to forgive them. When I see them next time, I'm going to holler at them and, you know what I'm saying, chop it up with them, man. I forgive you, man. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a lot of youth is watching. And the more and more that we continue to set great examples by forgiving each other, chopping it up with each other, you know what I'm saying, agreeing to disagree respectfully, you know, things of that nature. I mean, a lot of people, you know, you know, like especially the youth, they're going to look at it like, you know what, man, I can learn from this. They will learn from it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them will learn from it. But you got to keep that going. You got to keep on doing it over and over and over again. Got to keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? Not just Hassan and Hocus. Everybody. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? Straight up and down. Or take it to the ring. Things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Guns down, gloves up. I'm about. To, I'm, I'm, I'm all for that too. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Hocus, 4th, 5th, and Hassan Campbell. You know what I'm talking about? You know, has, uh, you know hey, man. Uh, man, listen, man. This is great. I want people to patch up their they, they problems, man. You know what I'm saying? I want people to start to link up with each other. I want people to forgive each other. And, you know, um, put things in the past behind them. After all, it's in the past. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? But um, I know people like, man, that don't, that don't matter. But anyways, man. Yeah, I watched it earlier, man. I was like, yeah, I'm going to do a blog on this one. I like what I see. You know what I'm talking about? I just want everybody else to do the same damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And people need to stop saying stop saying that he's hating on my son. You know what I'm saying? My son or my son or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Hassan Campbell is not hating on my son, bro. You know what I'm saying? He not. You know what I'm saying? My son is affiliated with the whole Black Lives Matter movement or whatever. They received $90 million in one year in donations. And it could be more. And that's just one year. So that means that these people didn't accumulate damn near half a billion, half a billion, or maybe even up to a billion, or at least a quarter billion. Like, come on, man. Like, that's that's crazy, fam. That's crazy. And you got people who who, who could use some of that money to fix up their homes, their there, you know, potholes in the streets, project buildings, boarded up homes, messed up communities. You know what I'm saying? All kind of stuff, man. Messed up schools, boarded up schools, old textbooks, old equipment, all kind of stuff, man. We already know what's going on in the black communities and in the, in the ghettos of the United States all over, from the East Coast to the West Coast, you know what I'm saying, to the Midwest, all the way to that dirty South. Anyways, man, it's your boy, Ill Flow Spitter, a.k.a. Cleve, the villain coming out that H-Time, Houston, Texas, Southwest, man. It's that closet TV where I bring you the news from the closet. Just the platform will be exposed to skeletons. And niggas closets, man. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Anyways, man, y'all check out my nigga 
Cassidy versus Hitman coming up real soon. I will be in the building. You know what I'm saying? April 3rd. You know what I'm saying? TRBRC, the real battle rap community in full effect. Dragon's Lair Entertainment. Bars over everything. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Let's go. Bars is back. Shout out to Cassidy. You know what I'm talking about? But anyways, man. Shout out to that nigga Hassan Campbell. You know what I'm talking about? And um, shout out to that boy uh, Hocus 4 5th as well. Hocus 4 5th. Yeah. Straight up. I like what I see and I want the youth to mimic what y'all just did. I want the youth to mimic what y'all just did. I like that a whole lot. Squad business. Anyways, mate, I think I said too much. I'm gone. Peace.